What's up guys, Sam at back and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys. This is the DC Multiverse Batman Duke Thomas. Now I've already reviewed the Joker Dragon a while ago that goes with this figure. Unfortunately, it's in one of my bins. I don't know where I put it. So we're just going to be taking a look at the Batman today. But this is the one that does pair with him. So this is Tales from the Dark Multiverse. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about this version of Batman. So you guys can school me and let me know in the comments down below about this Batman. Again, I bought this because he goes with the Joker Dragon and both figures look freaking awesome. So we're going to open this up, guys. I mean, the packaging on this is really cool. The back of the card on this is actually really cool and we're gonna open him up and we're gonna see if he's a pickup or a pass so the accessories that comes with batman you get the standard dc multiverse base you guys know what that looks like and then you get a really cool card and there is actually i mean you guys probably knew already but there is a bio right here so i guess i can read that but if you guys want to school me some more on this character let me know and then you also get this really cool like axe guitar this thing just looks so killer you okay, got some you got the blades here with the spikes you got the strings, and then you got another blade like right at the end. I mean, unfortunately, you guys know this is like kind of for the most part soft rubber material, but it's still a really cool design. And then you have Duke Thomas Batman right here, and this guy looks insane. I mean, I know a lot of people are tired because McFarlane's making a lot of Batman figures, but when you get variants like this, this is so cool. I mean, let's start with the cape. Look at this. Great sculpting rubber material right here then you have these like little spikes that stick out on the back on top of like the armor the back of this guy looks so cool and then he has this really cool like helmet cowl see that you got the little strip right here for the eyepiece and then you have these really really long ears like the bat ears they're soft rubber material and these cool little sculpting designs on top of his helmet so i really like the head sculpt on him and then you have the emblem right here it's a, obviously a, a, a totally different take on the batman emblem and you got some you know the black underneath you have these shoulder pads now this is all soft rubber material you have the gauntlets on the side of the arms three gauntlets right here soft rubber black sleeves kind of like purple gloves with like a little bit of wraps that you can see on there the chest armor looks really cool or i should say the um the abdominal area armor so this is all like supposed to be armor piece you can see right there in the back because underneath he is wearing black and then here is a look at the right arm and then you have his utility belt i really like the utility belt you can see the batman emblem there and then the pouches i like the paint apps on these so there is the uh the back shot of them and you have his legs you can see the cool sculpting on the legs and you have the boots and again look at that see the detailing on him especially like on the top of the shoes the bottom you have some detailing at the bottom and then if we turn this around you can see the back some of the straps and everything it's a totally cool look for batman but it works now the way of his articulation the legs do go in and out forward and back double jointed at the knees can kind of and they rotate a little bit the lower leg has um, articulation you can see the foot ankle pivot toe articulation arms go in and out forward and back double jointed is it double jointed no it's single jointed no it's double jointed it is at the elbow arm rotates lower hand rotation he's got a hinge rotation in the waist not a whole lot i don't know if there's two points i can't tell slight ab crunch the head can rotate and go actually it has good range of motion so it's pretty articulated uh the upper i would say well the armor kind of gives him limited mobility because of the um the armor piece that he's wearing so as far as the waist you don't you're not going to get a whole lot of ab crunch out of him and there you have it guys there is my review today we're taking a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse batman duke thomas tales from the dark multiverse again this pairs with the joker dragon you can actually place him on top of the joker dragon again unfortunately i don't have him right here he's sitting in one of my bins but this is definitely an awesome figure and especially if you're a collector of batmans and you want different versions of batmans this is definitely right up your alley he's cool he's a very very great looking figure and the only thing i would say is a problem they need to give him some different interchangeable hands because you can't get him like in a guitar pose really because the other the right hand only has a closed fist so mcfarland please give us a few more a few more interchangeable parts but other than that it is a great figure so let me know in the comments down below if this is a pickup or a pass we'll see you soon